y equals this equation, work out dy by dx, give your answer in this form where a and b are integers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out what dy by dx is. So dy by dx will equal 3x squared minus 12x plus 12. And so what we can do next is we can take out a factor of 3. So we have 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then you can factorize your brackets to get 3 times x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 which we can simply write as 3 times x minus 2 or squared so we can see that our values for a will be 3 and your value for b will equal 2 so your final answer is 3 times x minus 2 or squared to work out the coordinates of the stationary point of this equation notice the first word in this question is hence which implies that you need to use your answer from the previous part of this question so we already know what happens when we differentiate our equation we are left with 3 times x minus 2 or squared but notice the question asks us to work out the coordinates of the stationary point so hopefully you all remember that your stationary point is where your gradient function dy by dx equals zero so we can set this equal to zero and solve for x notice if you divide both sides by three you have x minus two or squared and that equals zero so x minus two equals zero therefore x equals two so i know my x coordinate will be two and then i can take this value of x and substitute it into my equation for y so we know y equals equals x cubed all right 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 16 so if we simplify that we have y equals 8 minus 6 times 4 which is 24 plus 24 minus 16 notice these two cancel so you're simply left with 8 minus 16 which is negative 8 so your stationary point or the y coordinate of your stationary point is minus 8 and so your stationary point is 2 negative 8